everyone, my name is Brittany and I am a first year MFA student in the book art program at Mills College. And today I am going to be showing you how to make an eightfold zine. Um, there are three things you'll need. One is a piece of paper or multiple papers if you're making multiple zines, scissors for cutting, and if you have a bone folder, that would be great for folding. Um, or you can just use your hands or any household items like a pen or a spoon will work as well. All right, so first I wanna show you um, the layout of our eightfold zine just to give you an idea of where it's going. Um, you might uh, want to like draw on it first or print on it first before actually folding it. Um, and so if you wanna do that, just note that here's the front cover, back cover, and the pages start numbered one, two, three, four, five, and six. That'll be important for when we cut it and fold it into a little zine. Um, so the first thing that I do when I start making my eightfold zine is fold the um, fold each side in half. So first we're going to fold it the long way, or some people like to say hot dog style. And you really want to make sure that the um, lines, the end lines are aligned with one another. So you might find it helpful to like before you put the fold in, lift it up and just knock it on the top and on the bottom side. Lay it down, check your lines again just in case, and then use your finger or a household item to make a line in the middle and then fold it on each side. Wonderful, okay. So the next thing you're gonna do after that is fold the other side in half, so this time um, the wide way or hamburger style. One of the things that I um, do for my zines is instead of aligning it perfectly at the top and bottom, I'll give a little bit of extra space so that when I fold the cover over, you don't see the underside like poking out of it. Um, and then if you need to like refold it, it just ensures that um, there's not weird like pages sticking out of your zine. So again, you'll put a line down the middle, you'll go down one side, down the other, perfect. All right, after that, you're gonna fold this widthwise or hamburger-wise one more time so that you have your pages. And this time, try to line it up with that top line Great, you'll put a line down the middle again, and then go up and down, just making sure that that crease is really crisp. Great, okay. And then we're gonna take our scissors, and here, one of the tricky things is making sure that you stay as close on top of that line as possible so that when you fold it, it's not um, hanging over on either side. So we're really gonna make sure that we follow that line and that crease that we put in there all the way to the middle. And when we're done, it should look like this. Okay, so mine is a little tiny bit crooked here. So I'm gonna cut off just this excess paper just so again that when I fold it, it's not hanging over. Great, perfect. Okay, so now we have the basic structure of our zine and we're going to open it up and then again, hot dog style or the long way, we're gonna fold the sides over and then you should have something that looks like a little lip or mouth or diamond here and that's where you're going to put the two end sides together like this. It'll create like a little star. And you could fold it over from here so that you could see the front cover and the back cover. But what I suggest doing 
is laying it so that your two sides are like this and just doing one more crease down the middle so that when you fold it over again, it's really crisp and clean. So you'll have it like this. You'll be able to see the paper laying down and then you'll fold it over. Now the last thing we wanna do is just check and make sure. There we go, there's the front cover and the back cover. We wanna check and make sure that our corners are laying flat. So we'll take our bone folder spoon or whatever tool you have at home here and you'll just go along the edges and flatten them out so that those folds that are on the inside are super clean and crisp. All right. And when you're done, you should have a six page zine that you can open, mm -hmm. <laughs> that you can open and turn the pages. Um, the last thing I would say is that if you haven't decorated your zine yet because you wanted to get those folds really nice, you can also from here start to decorate your zine. So you can make your front cover, your back cover, and then put all of your wonderful content inside. All right, one more bonus tip that I have for you once your zine um, is folded or before you fully uh, folded it, again, that choice is yours, is so the eightfold zine is really great because you have these open parts. So something you could do is on the pages, put your content on the back side. You can make like a print or poster so that when people get your zine, they have all of that wonderful content that's on the inside of the book and an added surprise that's on the inside when they unfold it. So you can either print or draw on the back before you fully fold it um, or do it once you have um, finished your zine.